as inflation impacts all of us. Grocery prices, gas bills, and so much more. There's another thing that you need a budget for, parents. It's the back-to-school shopping for your kiddo. Yeah, that's right around the corner. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez explains just how much more parents could expect to pay this summer. Good morning, Candy. Yeah, Tom Sally, good morning. It's not just parents facing these high costs. Local organizations that help kids get what they need for the first day of classes are also seeing that impact. For the last decade, we really want to be able to just ease that burden. Foundation Communities has provided thousands of kids with back to school supplies, helping parents like Jennifer Easterly. The back to school drive takes a weight off my shoulders. After spending six months in a shelter, today she and her family call a Foundation Communities Complex home. And for the last two years, relief. It's almost like Christmas. She's talking about the nonprofit's annual back to school drive. School uniforms for three children gets very expensive. Like I have to start saving now to make sure that I can have their, their school clothes. So not ha I do not have to worry about school supplies. This year, experts report parents could spend up to 8% more than this time last year on school supplies. The average family will spend about $150 on back to school supplies for one kid. So you multiply that by multiple kids and um, the, the costs really go up and it could be to where it's the same amount as um, your monthly rent. Money parents like Easterly do not have. So we really want to ensure that this campaign is successful so that these families don't have to worry about that additional cost. The nonprofit needs $70,000 by the end of the week for its back to school drive. They need that money to give out pencils, notebooks, and crayons to the 700 kids expecting it from them. They're only about 30% of the way toward that goal, which is why they're sounding the alarm this week so they can continue to help parents like Easterly. You have to plan financially ahead of time to be able to buy all those things. And to know that I don't have to worry about school supplies is a, is a weight off my shoulders. And the drive primarily helps elementary school age kiddos. And I checked this morning, the nonprofit has raised a little more than half of the goal, $40,000. And they'll start handing out supplies next week. So how much would it cost me to buy my child's back to school supplies? Well, I got a list offline. I just wanted to see how much it would be. This is an Austin ISD elementary school supplies list. We found it online, the first one that popped up. The total, 103 to fulfill this fifth grade yeah. list for supplies. Now,